Hello, beautiful soul family. This is Christine Gold with 24 Karat Healing, and this is your weekly empath update for the week of May 25th, 2020. And yes, uh, trying something different. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm always looking for uh, comments, feedback, anything that resonates. Feel free to reach out, share this, like this you know, share this out with your friends and family. And I hope uh, my American friends are having a beautiful Memorial Day long weekend. We in Canada just had ours last weekend for, yes, that Victoria Day long weekend. And uh, the message for the week, um, I see a lot of, you know, we just had the new moon on Friday in Gemini. There are definitely many retrogrades still going on, but um, yeah, I just feel like we've turned a corner and we keep uh, turning corners. So the overall theme uh, for this week is uh, expanded awareness. Now I've got a bit of a shine on the card here, but uh, as a right, it's, you know, it's asking us in regards to our intuition. Um, Mm, just a lot of clarity. This is your overarching theme for the week. Something that we all, including myself, need to work on. Um, it's, you know, your awareness is expanding. It's linked to your third eye. Um, your perception around old beliefs, patterns, and deep, profound healing is possible on many levels right now with expanded perspective so you're releasing old perceptions and you're expanding your awareness to bring about freedom and deep healing as last week was about the you know shining your joy your inner child um so you're you're connecting and enhancing your intuition following your own guidance and as a right will get you there as well the stone uh, transformation, old belief systems, your vision and insight. So it, it's attracting this because it's exciting. It's an exciting new level of consciousness. <laughs> I can feel that. Uh, the veils of illusion are lifting. The old ways of being and thinking, they're falling away. They don't serve you any longer. It allows you to see yourself, your current situation, your journey with deeper clarity. Know that you're opening to higher planes of consciousness right now. All right. So that is the overarching theme for the week. And the next card. Oh, look at that. Herkimer Diamond. Now, let me know if any of you have uh, this stone. I myself do not. I mean, I have, there's so many stones and so little time, right? <laughs> um, and it's interesting after expanding, you know, your awareness, it's through your heart and crown chakras. Yes, a crystal kingdom, uh, remembering and accessing your dream state. Sleeping with this magical crystal under your pillow will allow you to remember your dreams and access the magic because it's all about the magic working away new inspirations uh, and clearing the blocks to your create creativity because your creative self is where you get all your inspirations your dreams your diet desires your intuition so this crystal is invoking your personality vibrancy shine and the totality magnificence it's activating inspiration, new ideas, clearing away creative blocks, sweeps the mind, clears the clutter. So let's work on our dreams, guys. If you're having um, issues with your dreams, not remembering, just be kind, be gentle. Just take your time. Lay in your bed for a bit. Don't just jump out of bed and, and definitely don't pick up your phone because that's not going to help you. Um, you need to marinate in, in your waking you're you're awaking you're remembering uh signs and symbols these are insights and it helps with your healing as well so dreams and goals all right so that's what we're we're working on that's what we need to work on this is the overarching theme for the week expanding your awareness through your dreams and the end result 
Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Now, can I pronounce this? Bridoacrosite acceptance. Look at the beautiful pink. Do you see the layers in that stone? What, what do layers remind you of? We're talking about layers of healing. It takes time. It peels away. There's growth. And this stone is related to the heart chakra. Ah, pink swirls. It's in the same family as um, malachite, but it's pink. So malachite is a powerful healing crystal on all levels, and its sister is radocrosite. And it holds the healing energy of compassion. So self-healing and acceptance, energy, unconditional love, compassion. It supports if you're emotionally overwhelmed. It assists you to surrender and let go. Self-aware. So this is, you know, it's time to surrender and accept your situations. It's a sign that you're being encouraged to find a deep place of acceptance within yourself, those around you, your current situation, and a forgiving perceived mistakes there are none and truly accept all is divine order and deep awakening in your world with acceptance comes recognition with recognition comes awakening and acceptance so overarching theme expanded awareness through your dreams comes totality and acceptance and i thought i'd throw in the energy card just for fun and this is the first card in the deck the sun this really speaks well. Obviously, ones are about your intuition. Yes. But, at, you know, this is a great time of creativity. Important projects. You see the baby. There might be new babies being born. The lotus flowers, books, sun. Um, yeah, there's, there's new projects, abundance, blessings, growth intentions this card is all about intentions so divine inspiration intentions personal growth and new beginnings new beginnings greek creativity so that just kind of anchors everything in for this week and if you would love uh, a personal reading please feel free to reach out you can email me at 24khealing at gmail.com. I am working on my website to make it even better for you guys to book in with me. Either it could be a one-on-one -on -one coaching, it could be a mediumship reading, it could be a Reiki rescue reading, which includes all everything that I do. Feel free to go to my Facebook page. It lists all the services and pricing and availability. Hey guys, I want to wish you love, light, and blessings. And please remember, healing begins where the ego ends. Take care.